Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Last time was a pretty eventful episode as Ryu was reunited with his father. We also learned that Township can fly. Also, we went to go back to Gate where the game originally started, and we tried to blow up a dragon with a bomb, but that only unleashed havoc on the world. And we also collected all of the shamans in the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my way back to Township, and I want to take the beginning of this episode to show you some of the different combinations that you can make with the characters now that we have all the shamans and some different transformations that we can undergo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you in the uh, house, in, uh, the uniting house in Township, and I'll show you what we can do. See you there. Okay, so now we're here uh, at the uniting house, and I managed to pick up uh, Jean, Cat, and Nina. And these are the first transformations that I want to show you. So, let's join some souls. And as you can see, now let's start with Cat. Now you can see that we've got all the different uh, ones in the game, all the different shames in the game. So let's start by uh, reuniting Cat with Shin. Or reuniting, but just uniting them. And let's see what happens. And if you do that. Ho ho! Yeah, look at that! And now Cat is totally beefcaked out. She looks kind of like a an undead monster there, but look at that. Whoo! Yes! A huge boost in all of her stats. So I really, really, really like that. That's, that's very, very, very good. Okay, but now, but I'm not quite done with that yet. Because you can actually now, with Cat, um, you can reunite uh, Cat with not just Shin, but you can pair her up with either Santa, Sesso, or Spore, in addition to being by herself. So let's pair her up with Spore and see what happens. that same music that we had uh, when we went down to the church there. Yeah, so she becomes a ghoul again, but now she has more powers. So, and that's basically what you can do with Cat. So, just go there. Yeah, and her stats are, you know, there's got a little bit of increase. Uh, let's see, I think it's in Vigor? I think that's what it is. So, anyways, okay. So there's the th one with Cat. Now let's see what happens if we uh, experiment with Jean. Alright, let's get him going there. So let's unite Jean. We're going to reunite him. There's a couple different combinations you can hit, but they all involve Senny. So let's get Senny going with him. And how about... And you can either do him with Ciso or Spore. Now you could do Senny by yourself. In fact, you know, let's go do Senny by yourself. But you could also do it with uh, Spore or Ciso as well. So let's see, reunite them. And see what happens there. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's Beefcake Warrior too. It's awesome. And there you go. Let's see what his sprite looks like. Yeah, not bad. I see a good, a good increase in attack power as well. So basically, it's just a boost in their stats. And uh, what I'll do at the very end is I will, in the video description, list, uh, give you a list of every one that you can reunite with and what the different ones do. And I'll provide you a list of basically the, the game fact that I use uh, to get all this information together. Alright, now let's do Nina. And the Nina, the only person re we can reunite... Oh, uh, wait, sorry. Uh, let's reunite Nina. And let's unite Nina with the only combination that she can do it with, and that's Spoor and Senny. So let's do that. And the reason that I'm doing it in this order is, well, I'll, actually, I'll go over that here in a minute once this is done. Oh, yes! Look at that power! Yeah, she looks pretty tricked out, too. She looks like she would be very, very formidable. Look at that. Look at that long, blue, flowing hair. She kind of reminds me of Blue of a little bit. Look at that increase in wisdom. I mean, that just makes her pretty, pretty powerful. Um, and I'm, you know what? might end up using her. No, I can't use her. And I'll explain why here in just a little bit. Okay. So, very good. Now. Cool. Alright. So, I just wanted to show you that and kind of see uh, so that we can see those transformations there. Now. Let's go ahead and swap this out. And now we want to put Spar back into the party. 
and bow and ramp. All right, very good. Now let's go back here. Let's do a little more uniting. Nope, we're good. All right. Now, let's unite with Spar. Now, that Spar is kind of interesting in that she can transform into some different uh, beings based upon who you, who you unite her with. Him. I keep forgetting it's a dude. Because he transforms into a girl with an initial unite. So let's check this out. And she becomes... Whoa! It's almost like a... Does it look like a dragon, maybe? Yeah, look at that. We've got a dragon now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at that increase. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that increase in wisdom. That's just huge. I love that. Um, and Saturn Shin, yeah, well, maybe. I still don't think that's the one I'm going to end up using. But I may change it a little bit later also. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you that one. And there's another one, uh, two more we can do with her. So let's show you those. Like, we may not get to a whole lot of um, playing of actual gameplay today, but that's fine. Okay, now you've seen the sprite one, uh, which is one she's before. Okay, let's do Say So and Solo. And I believe we, this can give us Spar's final form. Man, Spar looks so weird. She kind of reminds me of uh, somebody from Star Tropics. That uh, island wear type in that coconut bra. Whoa! What the hell? She looks like a little... What the hell is that? Looks like a walking plum. Well, you can't argue with the wisdom boost there. So that's just kind of... But I think that's kind of weird. Kind of funny, too. She's just like a walking... Maybe it's a peach? I don't know. That's just kind of messed up. But Okay. Now let's kind of go with the big boys here. All right. Now I'm actually going to swap out a healer. And Spar's no longer going to be my healer. Because now that we have the new shamans, we can equip Bow. And Bow only has one combination. But it is a doozy. So, let's get Senny and Shin going. So this pretty much knocks Cat out of being in my final party. Because I want Bo uh, to be in my party. And because he's united with Shin... Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this. Yes, I love it. So this is Bo. And the reason I want him is because uh, the only person that Cat can unite with is Shin. And even those four different combinations that you can unite Cat with... Uh, they all involve Shin, but the only one that you can unite Bo with is uh, is Shin. So again, big increase in wisdom and offense, and that's going to get even better later. Big increase in AP. So when Bo is not being used to heal, he still can use Missile and Boombada, along with having a very, very, very strong physical attack, much stronger than Spars. So that's why I'm going to have him in my final party. Plus, hunting will be a lot better with him as well. Now. For my final party, I'm also going to, of course, have Blue in there. Well, actually, I'll talk about my final party, and then I'll go and do the final transformation with Rand there. So, let's get my final. what my final party in the game is going to be. Ryu, of course. Blue, of course. Uh, Bo, because of now the healing, which is better than Spar. And then if you have characters that are left over, I don't think Jean's very good, so I'm not going to use him. Nina, we don't need to worry about because of Blue. Um, Cat, we can't use because of the transformation. And Stin, I don't think, just has enough AP. And his, he only has one transformation, too. And that's the Santa and Spore one, which trans him into, transfers him into that warrior. So that's okay, but it's, still, but it's not really great. So the only person that leaves us left with is Rand. And Rand has some excellent attack powers. And, and it's going to only get better as well. And his spells are not bad. He can heal if we need to. But he also has some good spells, that, some good physical spells that you can do, too. So, let's reunite him. Now, with Rand, let's see, we're going to want to do, uh, let me see, let me check my notes real quick, and then uh, make sure I know who exactly I'm going to unite Rand with. Okay, so, the ones that I'm going to reunite, why do I keep saying reunite? Unite with him with, is going to be with, oops, no, unite him with Santa and Spore, I believe. Is that right? No, what? No, that's not right. I'm sorry. I messed. I made a mistake on that one. But yeah, so that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. 
Okay, so let's try that one again. That's not what I wanted to do. My fault. We're gonna reunite. We are gonna unite Rand with Santa and Solo. That's what it is. Okay, there we go. Now the reason for this is of the different combinations that we can have. Well, we'll go over that here in a second once we see his new look. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, huh? He doesn't look. He in fact looks kind of younger, or not as strong. But he is actually pretty strong. It's kind of a weird looking dude. Look at that. But yeah, look at that increase in offense. Uh, Agility's up a little bit, but that's good. The reason that I wanted to reunite with uh, with him, and you can unite with him with either Santa and Solo, Sesso and Solo, or Solo and Senny. Uh, but the reason I wanted to do it with this with this combination is because the offense. He gets the most offensive boost that way, and he's kind of my offensive tank there. So okay, so this is going to be right here our final party for the game. Now, before continuing on, we can also go and purchase some of the best equipment in the game. Now, if we go over here, we can do this. Alright, now if we talk to her after completing the events of uh, Dragon releasing on the world, we can now go here and purchase some of the best equipment in the game. Now, if you didn't get the Empire Sword, the Break Sword is going to be the way to go. But now with that bow, ho ho! Yes! Now, we've got a tank. Kaiser knife. Yeah, we're going to increase that there. And an amber ring. So that will be good. About like that. Okay, now we can start increasing some of their armors, too. A crimson cloak, we're good. We don't need to boost that there. So, And I'm probably, I might not have enough MP to, or HP to do with all of this. Don't buy a hero armor, because we can actually get uh, another armor that's going to be better off. Um... Uh... Some helmets. So yeah, so eventually we're going to have a lot of equipment we're going to need to buy, and I'm going to do some level grinding for that before we end up the final area. But, for right now, let's go ahead and let's get a quick cloak going here, because that's going to give us a lot of defensive power. So let's do that. Uh, do we have anything we can sell? Probably. Yeah, I'm not going to need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Or that. Or that. That double whip, no. Uh, auto bow. Now nah, get rid of that. Snake staff, don't need that. And DR tiger sword, I'm gonna keep for healing. Soul sword. Yeah, I'm gonna hang. For some reason, I think I need to hang on to that. And a plate. Yeah, just because it's cute, I'll hang on to it. Okay, we can purchase one more thing. Sorry. All right. So let's uh now let's see. I think what was the robe was the best. Yeah. So we'll get that going. Can I buy anything else? No. I'm good for now. So okay. Very good. So I believe that is it we can do. Alright. And now actually I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one more piece of armor, and I'll give us a chance to demonstrate our new team. Alright. Now what we wanna do is we wanna warp gate. Let's go do that. And I think you can do this now. And what we want to do is we want to head, let's see. Okay, let's head over this way. Okay, now we have some new enemies here. Gold idols. So let's put our new powers to use. Uh, let's see, physical attack there, and rank and attack. And I think we can use death on these guys. Let's find out. Nope, guess not. Yeah, not bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that physical attack. I love it. Yeah, not bad. Ow! Oh, he's building up his attack power. I don't like that. Uh, let's show off Spry. And I guess now I can show off 8.0. And let's just release hell on the opponents there. <laughs> oh! There you go. Woo! Yes, nicely done. Well, good amount of experience, too. Okay, well, let's show off this hunting. Now that we have Bo, who's all tripped, 
It was all maxed out. Oh, can I even get... No, I can't get in there because I don't have spark. Dang it. Okay. Uh, now there's a cave there, and we'll visit that here in just a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do now... I'm going to fight some enemies, and I think... A fishing spot will eventually open up. Here's an M Golem. And it appears I've fought this thing before. Nope. Now, as we get later on in the game, some of the enemies are not as susceptible to death. But I always like to try, just to be sure. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, what do I need to have happen is I need to fight around until a fishing spot opens up. So I'm just going to do some little battling off screen. And I'll be back once a fishing spot has opened up. But first, I'll show you a new enemy here, Cyclops. This, uh, I hope this Cyclops isn't anything like the Cyclops is in, uh, Dragon Warrior 2. Ooh, he is susceptible to death. Well, that makes that easy. And another level for Ryu. Okay, where is that fishing spot? Okay, like I said, I'll just keep fighting off screen until I can get it to appear. Yeah, but first, I'll show off another new enemy here. The Mammoth. It's like a big, woolly mammoth type deal. Oh, I love it when enemies are susceptible to instant death. Instant death. Ah, and Bo learns Cure 4. Very nice. Oh, okay. Well, now we can show off some hunting. No, oh, I always get the button wrong. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, I want to avoid that thing because I don't want to get into a random battle. But now watch this. Yeah, look at how far we can shoot now. So this is going to make this a lot easier. Except for that deer. Get back your deer. And I gotta be careful because I want to run into that beak thing. And he spotted us because that just gives you a random battle. And it kind of ends the whole hunting sequence. But yeah, now Bo can... This makes hunting a lot easier. Not that it really matters at this point in the game. But having having extra items that can restore your HP to max is always a good thing. I don't think... Can you even kill those? I don't even know if you can kill those things. Those beaks from... I don't think he can. Oh well. Eh, well, he escaped. Dang it. But yeah, so then his bow's hunting ability is much stronger now. He won't even fight me now. There we go. Go away. So, anyways, just wanted to show you that. Okay, so now uh, we'll do some fishing here in just a little bit. Ah, there we go. There the fishing spot appeared right there. And I also gained another level for Rand. And we got the Renew spell. Very nice. Okay, so let's get, uh, let's get some gold there going here. Okay, now let me make sure that we're going to get this. Okay, let's do it. And there's a chest there nice and ready to go. Ready for us. Whee! We want to go ahead and pick up this chest here. So we can get it there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dang it. Okay, well, that didn't work so well. I'll try that one again. Sorry, the Beast's Universe. Whee! Why does gold... How does gold translate into fishing? I don't quite understand that. I don't really understand what would attract a fish to some gold, but... There we go. All right, now push A as fast as we can. Get it. Got it. Woohoo! And inside we get the life armor, the best armor in the game for our main character. So let's get that equipped. So that's just like in um, the original Breath of Fire. So let's get that going. Ha <laughs> ha! And his vigor goes down a little bit, but that's fine. But now, uh, yeah, so now he's got the best armor in the game, and I believe if you walk around, it, uh... It uh, increases his, it restores his HP by one step everywhere we go. So, okay, we've now made our final preparation preparations. We got our final party, and we are ready to go. So we will finally take on, or we finally, we will finally figure out what we need to do next and try to save the world. But how exactly are we going to do this? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out the donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.